Five Vertical Saints here. I'm Jonah. And I'm Matt. And we've got the starter deck stuff. Yep, start deck. I have no idea. 15 and 16. 16. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, these are all been posted on Facebook, the other YouTube channels, all that other stuff. But, you know, we're still going to bring it to you. Um, <laughs> what? I, I just find it funny that you brought that up. It's like, yes, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, you know, we still got to do it. Um, so, start with Vegeta's. When his cards actually draw a card and he gains 5k. Hmm. Um, awakening, very long awakening. Uh, when your life is a 4 or less, or you have a red unison card or specified cards of 2 in play, you may switch up to 2 of your energy to active mode, add cards from your life to your hand and, until you have 5 left, choose up to one of your red unison cards with Carbrain's card name and add a marker to it, then flip this card over. That's that really good. actually insanely good. And I'm pretty sure the card was a two cost, which means you can basically well, awaken yeah. on turn two Plus, and give it three markers. Yeah, and even if you awaken on the full life, you can still give it a marker, no matter what. So, Alright, um, and then we awaken, and we got oh, two autos this time. Uh, so, when this card attacks, draws a card, then choose up to one of your red unison cards, a specified cost of two, and no keyword skills. And it gains double strike for the turn. Okay. And then auto once per turn, spirit boost. Uh, remove a marker from red unison to activate the skill, basically. It is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, when your opponent attacks your red unison card with a specified cost of two, they get your attack and then chill to one of your red unison cards and gain 6,000 power at the end of the turn. So it's Cobb's Awakening. Yeah, but it means you can <laughs> negate an attack and give it. Um, extra power to try and slow down the other ones. Yeah, so it's it loses a marker either way because it's the spirit boost removes a marker, but it just means it's if it's getting hit by double strike, it's losing a marker as opposed to two, and it gains power, and it also makes it harder to hit. Yeah, yeah. And oh look, there is the carver. So yeah, we got uh, SS carver spirit resonance. Uh, so special by cost two, fifteen k. What a shocker. Um, Auto limit one, so it's something you can only do once per turn across any copies of the card. When this card is placed in your drop air from your use and air, choose from one of your mono red lead cards and it gains 5k power for the turn. Okay, that's useful. Um, so, so if your opponent somehow kills it, you then buffs up the leader. Yeah. So plus one active main, choose from one of your opponent's battle cards or unison cards and it gets minus 10k power for the turn. And then Minus six auto if your opponent's life is up three or more. When your mono red saying these card is attacked, deal one damage to your opponent. <laughs> That's not bad, but minus six. I don't think you'll ever get to that stage, really. I don't think you want to get to that stage. Uh, well, there is also one other thing to notice um, that this Vegeta doesn't have Warrior of Universe 7 on him. Oh, uh, yeah, he doesn't. Hmm. So, even though in his special trait is the special trait is there, and obviously it's that yeah. type of theme, yeah. and obviously it's got Carbo involved, but yeah. him himself doesn't have. So you'd have to just do red. Well, he wouldn't have the specified cost loop. So, well, remove from specified cost basically. That's what yeah. the Warrior Universe Seven is. Yeah. So you still have that. That's the the thing. But let's we'll see how much of a difference that actually makes further down the line. Yeah, depends on what you do with it. But generally, you should be fine because you're only going to be using red blue cards if more well, just red cards. Because there are plenty of ones, especially with this star deck now as well, anyway. Yeah. Um, so we got Sun Goku Spirit Boost Warrior. So it's a four cost, two for being red, 20k power. He has uh, Deflect, Double Strike, and Dual Attack. Also, as a permanent, um, if this card is in rest mode and you have a red unison card with a specified cost in two in play, uh, this card and your red leader card gain a thousand power. <laughs> I mean, 21 is just like. 21 and 16. <laughs> Awkward numbers! Yeah. Um, so you've got auto limit one and boost, uh, spirit boost one. That's done at the very bottom. Uh, when this card is placed in your drop area from your battle area by an opponent's skill or KO, play this card from your drop area. So you can bring it back out. Yeah. Basically. But only once per turn and removing a marker. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and then we got these. So we got surprise attack, Sun Gohan. So four drop, twenty k power, two red. Um, active battle, you pay one red. If you have two or more mono red battle cards in your combo area, play this card from your hand. Then choose it from one of your opponent's battle cards and gains minus ten k power for the turn. That's useful. Yeah. Cooler Mills got a bit of support. <laughs> yeah, it's very generic as well. Which is lovely. <laughs> Um, Alright, so I think this is the last card. It is the last card in the red deck to yeah. show off, anyway. Um, so we got Surprise Attack, Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta. So it's four cost. Uh, yeah. Red, so uh, 15k power, unique, critical. Uh, auto, that sounds painful. Uh, if your opponent has two or more energy, when you remove a marker from one of your red units and cards using a Spirit Boost skill, you may play this card from your hand. Hmm. Definitely needs to have unique. <laughs> My <Yeah>. God. <laughs> yeah, every time just like, oh, it's Spirit Boost, Vegeta, Spirit Boost, Vegeta, Spirit Boost, Vegeta. <laughs> yeah, I'll get four 15k crits on the board. <laughs> okay, now I'll do stuff. Oh, uh, okay, so that's the red start then. Yeah. And now on to the black star deck, which is the reboot, Mass Saiyan. Yeah. From I can't even remember which star. I think it was Star Deck 3. Um, or Star Deck 4. It was one of them. Yeah, it was one of them for the Crossworld set, wasn't it? Yeah. Going way back when. It was either Star Deck 3 or Star Deck 4, I think. Did Set 2 have Star Deck? Because I know Set 1 obviously did. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why I'm saying 3 or 4. It would be 2 or 3, I think. Oh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, very early on. So we now have the return of Mass Saint. Uh, so active paint, what's then burst free? Out one card from your life to your hand. If a black card is placed in your drop area by the skill, this card gains critical for the turn. If a non black card is placed in your drop area by the skill, this card gets 5k power for the turn. So obviously, you just run black and something else. And um, when your life's at 4 less, you get a 1 1 and flip them over. And it gives the SS3 bullet. You can use that card with. from the anniversary with this leader. Which one? The one that's got actually him on the artwork. The extra card. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that one's very useful in any black same deck, really. Yeah. Just give your leader double strike. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, obviously, it's got auto when it attacks draw a card. Um, it might not have been obvious, it, it might not have it. Nine times out of ten, it does. Yeah. <laughs> and auto wants to turn, add one card to your life to your hand. When you remove a marker from one of your black units and cards using a spirit boost skill, switch the card to active mode and negate its keyword skills for the turn. And then active main wants to turn, burst free. If a black card is placed in your drop area by a skill, this card gains critical for the turn. It's the same as his yeah, so Awaken side, literally exactly the same. It's it, to give it that. Push yeah. on the say on this awakened side. The difference is you don't take a life. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so start the exclusive ones. Oh, they're all yeah, they're all going to be, aren't they? Because that's all they're going to show. Yeah. Um, anyway, so we've got Dark Mask King Spirit Resonance. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, it's got 5k power. It's also very wordy. So, auto, if your leader card is is a black Saiyan Oni card, uh, when this card is placed in your drop area from your deck by one of your skills, if you don't have a unison card in play, you may play this card from your drop area and mark already. So, it's, that's the same as the Vegex one, right? With the, uh, whichever unison it is. The yeah. same star deck, style exclusive. Where if it gets milled, it comes out of a marker on it. Yeah, it's the same as the, I think it's Gotenks for that. Is it Gotenks? Or is it Gotenks? I know it's a Fusion. I can't remember which one it was, but yeah, it's the same principle, isn't it? Yeah. It does it's exactly the same actually, yeah. So uh auto um yeah, auto once per turn, when you remove a marker from this card using spirit boost skill, your opponent chooses one of their battle cards to engine cost of one or less and sends it to the owner's wall. Okay. Uh, minus two activate main. If your leader card is black same card and you choose one card in your hand and discard it, this card gains four K power for the turn for each colour in your energy. Yeah, because obviously with the leader card you mill 
Uh, if you mill a non-black card. Yeah. But I think the starter deck as well comes with a blue... Uh, China. China. Hmm. Red. Yeah. Blue. Yellow. Okay. Well, I was going to say, like, it, they also come with like a blue and a red vanilla. I'm pretty sure. Uh, again, we'd have to look at the list. But anyway, yeah. there you go. Oh, look, there's a new Dark Broly. Woo! Which, if I've... Yeah. Which might work. Uh, <laughs> so we've got Dark Broly, Spoon, B Spirit Boost Berserker. Blah, 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 blah. Right, we can't help it if they put Boost Berserker. Um, so, 6 drop, 30k power. What a surprise. It's got Unique, and it's also treated as a Black card in all areas. Again, what a surprise. Uh, so, Auto, when this card is played, what? Because this permanent says it's treated as Black in all areas, and it's a red card, Yeah. does that trigger his both effects? I think it would. Because it is a red card, but it's permanent is making it treated as black. So would that would his permanent overwrite his base colour? Because when it's in your energy area you can only tap it Yeah. You can only tap it for reds, I'm pretty sure. I think it might count because it would technically be a multicolor, but then it depends on the run of a black multicolor card with that leader. Also, so it's this card is also treated as a as black yeah. in all areas. So yeah, I think it does count towards both sides of that skill when you mill it. Hmm. Fun. So yes, it always um, would be one thing to mention right now. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. I didn't even think about that, so that would be fun. Um, so yeah, also when it's played, choose it from one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 15k for the turn. Nice. And active main, limit one, spirit boost one. Uh, and then you pay one if you have three or more energy and you send one red card, blue card, green card and the other card from your drop area to your warp play this card from your drop area or warp and it gains critical for the turn so it's not actually that good in Dark Broly other than the fact that you can kill something not that good in Dark Broly except for the fact you could play in Dark Broly well you couldn't do the bottom effect you don't get the bottom effect but you can do the, the top bit I didn't say how well you could play it in Dark Broly, I just said you could play it in Dark Broly. <laughs> <laughs> Same as you could run over on cars in Dark Broly. True. Um, Alright, so we got Mass Saiyan, Spirit Boost, Enigma. Uh, so it's 5 cast, 2 of it being blue, 15k power. It's got Unique and Dual Attack. But he's got Activate Main, Limit 1. And also Spirit Boost 1. Pay 1. Um, if your leader card is... What is a or card? Oh, it says on there, on the actual thing, Barlock or Mass Saiyan. Oh, uh, right, okay. Well, Barlock, Xena or Mass Saiyan. <laughs> I wasn't reading that wrong, right? <laughs> it does say is a or. Yeah, it does say is a or. They cut it out by accident. Yeah. So it was Barlock or Barlock, Xena. I think it's because... um. So yeah, if it's a on, on that side, it's Bardock Xeno, and then yeah. on that side, it's Mass So yeah, if your lead card is Mass or Bardock Xeno. Um, and you discard this card from your hand, your opponent may choose one card from their life and place it in the bottom of their deck if they don't play this card from the drop area. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Interesting. And then we've got Black Mass Saiyan Spirit Boost Minion. So, it's a 1 drop 4k power. Uh, it's permanent is, if your leader is a... Oh god, why? Mass Saiyan <laughs> or Barlow Xeno card. Um, it's because of the awakened and unawakened side. Because obviously yeah. when it's oh, unawakened, it's Mass Saiyan. When it awakens, yeah, it's Barlow yeah. Xeno. It's just annoying they've done it twice. <laughs> so yeah, if your leader is Mass Saiyan or Barlow Xeno, treat this card in your hand as if it had no specified cost. Because it's literally the only other card in the deck. Um, auto wants per turn. Add one card from your life to your hand. When this card attacks, it gains 11k power for the turn. And then active main wants per turn. Spirit boost one. Switch it to active mode. So then you can just attack twice for 15. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you could. Because it gains the 11k for the turn. Yeah. So. Just don't take a life on the second one. No. Alright. Alright then. 
Well, there we go. We now know that you apparently don't have Bardock or Bardock Xeno in the uh, the text. You have <laughs> and or. Or a or. <laughs> you know, like when you're just trying to read this stuff that Bandai make it annoying. <laughs> uh all right, guys. Uh, so, thank you very much for watching. Uh, tell us which one's your uh, favorite at the start of decks, um, and if you're actually going to pick up any of them. Actually, if you're actually going to play any of them, or if you're just going to take them apart, <laughs> <laughs> that's the main question. Uh, yeah, guys. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, bye. Bye.